I'm going to read a passage from Acts regarding the star of Rimphan. And this is Stephen defending his faith before the rabbinic court of the Sanhedrin, which got him stoned to death. Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch, and the star of your god Rimphan, figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. Our fathers had the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness, as he had appointed, speaking unto Moses, that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen which also our fathers that came after brought in with Jesus into the possession of the Gentiles, whom God drave out before the face of our fathers unto the days of David, who found favor before God and desired to find a tabernacle for the God of Jacob. But Solomon built him an house. Howbeit the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet, Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool, what house will ye build me, saith the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? Hath not my hand made all these things? Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost, as your fathers did, so do ye. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted, and they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just one, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers? <laughs> who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. And then Stephen was put to death for saying that. So what does the strong say about Rimphan? Rimphan means the shrunken or lifeless. It's the name of an idol worshipped secretly by the Israelites in the wilderness. And it is an Egyptian god or idol. And it's interchanged with the name of Saturn. So he was talking about the star of Rimphan as Jewish idolatry. And Rimphan can also be interchanged with the gods Moloch, Saturn, and Baal. So I just want to read a little bit from this excellent, excellent article about the star of Rimphan that I found. <sighs> Due to their worship of these idols, the star of Rimphan, Stephen called all of them stiff-necked, as it was a sign of refusal to bow before the god due to their pride. Later on, their years of frolicking with idols while turning away from God caught up with them as God destroyed their temple, just as Jesus and Stephen foretold. So what does the Star of Remphan look like? It has many names, but the right reference is when it is commonly referred to as the Seal of Solomon. It features a six-pointed hexagram star that is comprised of two equilateral triangles that are overlaid. It's not a symbol that belongs exclusively to the Jews. It's appeared in various cultures and practices that date back to before Jesus was born. And this is just showing it on the um, Assyrian uh, depictions. There it is. Okay, so take a good look at that. So um, it has been used by the Buddhists, Freemasons, Hindus, Kabbalah, the occultic worship of Saturn, and majorly witchcraft. The origin of the Star of Rimphan is also called the Star of Solomon referring to the god Saturn, which was brought to the Jewish people after the promiscuity of Solomon, where he married many wives and turned his face away from that of the god as they engaged in idolatry. And one of his wives, the daughter of a pharaoh in particular, see, this would make sense, right? Because when we're talking about the uh, Sumerians and the Assyrians morphing into the pharaohs, <coughs> So one of the wives, the daughter of the Pharaoh in particular, introduced Solomon to these practices, and despite the misconceptions, David, his father, had nothing to do with this star, nor did it represent the people of God. Solomon was rich and affluent, and got as many wives as he wanted, and one of them led him into witchcraft, into the worship of the Kabbalah. And as Solomon gave himself and devoted to these practices, he started to build altars for them, for Moloch or Saturn, which is associated with Satan. And Saturn is the planet that's furthest from the sun, and surprisingly, the northern part of this planet has the shape of a hexagon. 
So is it starting to make sense that this is an evil symbol? Let's look at the hexagram. Considered to be associated with witchcraft, occult, and everything demonology, right from time the shape has fallen under scrutiny, but it was in some of the ancient occult to offer a portal or channel to dark spirit and forces with demonic energy. And only people who had given themselves over dark forces could cast it. So it's a sigil. The hex means applying a symbol to something or someone considered as an act to curse it, the carrier. Anybody who carries such a symbol would be cursed going forward. In this context, anybody carrying the Star of Rimfan would be considered cursed and a channel for demonic spirit and energy. It was used for summoning practices, which you can see in movies. So let's look at Baal. According to the Bible, Baal is a deity of Phoenician and Canaanite descent, and its shape was that of a bull or ram, and it was said to be the god of life and fertility, who was said to bring rain and dew to the Canaan area. The Canaanites credited their bounty harvest to Baal whenever they got a good harvest. However, in the absence of God, people tend to make a graven image for themselves to worship, and this is exactly what happened to the Israelites in the Bible. They were freshly freed from Egypt, but they mixed with Moab women, and they were under the temptation to worship Baal. This idol worship rose during the reign of Ahab as king. So with the biblical um, background reference, we can see that the Star of Remphan was made out as an idol for people to worship. And also in ancient and recent manners, it had been used in the work of evil, dark, power and magic, things that are not of God. And if you want to see is Rim fan Saturn, it does say that here on Wikipedia. It talks about the same thing in the Bible and the entomology of it, which you can read. Okay, so in my last video I showed that the star of Rim fan is often shown side by side historically with the swastika, as it one is in that Templar church in Ethiopia and on the Russian money, and having already reviewed who it is that the Templars worship and work for, which is Lucifer. And in Robert uh, Seffer's research and archaeological findings, he discovered that the swastika symbol, along with the snake symbol and the star of Rimfan, are the most ancient symbols of the Aryan bloodlines, the Anunnaki king god pharaoh and the Scythian noble ring lord classes. And also here in the Theosophy logo, which is also very Luciferian, as a friend pointed out, you also see both the swastika and the star of Rimfan, along with other ancient witchcraft symbols or sigils like the Ouroboros. You see them all here together, right? All these ancient satanic symbols that actually date all the way back to the ring lords, the Sumerian Anunnaki, the Aryan root race, symbolic of nothing but witchcraft, and the star of Remphan to Saturn, Moloch, and Babylon, even biblically speaking, yet exactly prior to World War II, that swastika was used to symbolize the Nazis. And Nazi, according to Dean Henderson, was one of the names of the Anunnaki God King. So they used that symbol in the anti-Semitic rhetoric prior to World War II, which was a problem. Then that created World War II, which was a reaction. And then the solution right after that was Zionist Israel, symbolized by their star of Remphan, which was and is to represent the supposed liberation of the supposed Jews and flown on the flag of modern Israel as a symbol of Zionism. How ironic and evil, yet this is the dialectic. 
But looking at the Star of Remphan, biblically speaking, it's seemingly the most Kabbalistic symbol of Jewish idolatry, as stated and noted in Acts in the most literal way. Thank you for listening.